Hi, I'm Rock and I recently came back from Croatian capital city. In this video, I will explain to you how expensive is Zagreb. When you are in Zagreb, prices for taxi, food, coffee and other everyday things will cost tens and hundreds and they can look very high. Oh no! But don't worry, they are presented in the local currency called Croatian Kuna. Ooh. For one euro, you get around 7.5 Kuna. And for one US dollar, you get around 6.6 .6 Kuna. To better understand prices, I will first explain Zagreb's position and its economy. Then we'll look at accommodation prices. Next, we'll cover the costs of public transport with some practical tips. Then I will cover admission for the main attractions. Next, we'll check the prices of food and coffee. And at the end, I'll give Zagreb a grade based on how expensive it is on 1 to 10 scale. GDP per capita is placing Croatian economy on 55th place in the world. Its capital, Zagreb, is the largest city in the country. Zagreb is the central transport hub and its leading economic center. Almost all of the most significant Croatian companies, media and scientific institutions have their headquarters in Zagreb. In recent years, Zagreb is becoming a more and more popular tourist destination. In 2010, Zagreb was visited by 600,000 visitors. And by 2018, the number of visitors doubled. Zagreb offers many accommodation options, with plenty of hotels, apartments, Airbnbs and budget-friendly hostels. There should be no problem finding the right housing for you, but there are two peaks when the accommodation offer could be limited and prices will increase. The peak summer months of July and August attract the most visitors to Croatian coast. And since Zagreb is the central transport hub of the country, some of them also decide to explore Zagreb. The second peak comes around New Year, when Zagreb is hosting one of the best Christmas markets in Europe and a prominent international sports event with the world's best male and female slalom skiers for the Ski World Cup. But in general, the prices of accommodation are affordable. In the area around the historic city center, you can find budget-friendly hostels from 12 to 25 euros per night. Decent Airbnb place will cost you around 50 euros. And prices for a four-star hotel with breakfast are between 50 and 150 euros. From Zagreb airport to the city center, you can take a pre-booked transfer, taxi, the airport bus or the public bus. Price for a transfer of one to three persons is about 260 kunas. Taxi is around 150 to 200 kunas, depending on your final destination. But remember to agree upon a price before taking the trip. A ride with the airport bus is 35 kuna, and the public bus is 10 kunas if you buy the ticket from a newsstand or 15 kunas if you buy the ticket from the driver. Taxi from the train station to the city center will cost you about 30 kunas. Uber is also available in Zagreb. It's easy to recognize public transport in Zagreb, since all of it is painted blue. To use bus or tram, you need to buy tickets. The best option for visitors is a paper ticket that is usable for one ride and you can use it for bus or tram. They are available at newsstand in the proximity of most stations or you can buy it at the driver, but in this case the price is a bit higher. Public transport is split into different zones and each requires the appropriate ticket. There are three tickets available, the 30-minute, 60-minute and 19-minute tickets. 30-minute ticket at newsstand is 4 kunas. 
and 6 kunas to the driver. A 60 minute ticket is 7 kunas to the newsstand and 10 kunas to the driver. And a 19 minute ticket is 10 kunas to the newsstand and 15 kunas to the driver. After getting on, you have to validate your ticket in the machines at the front or the back. If you are not able to present a verified ticket to the inspector, you will get a fine from 500 to 800 kunas. When you are in Zagreb, you should experience the ride with the world's shortest funicular. The ride lasts only 64 seconds, and this is the oldest mean of public transport in town. Tickets are available before entering the funicular, and the ride will cost you 5 kunas. You can also use a mini tourist train painted blue that can take you to the main tourist sites. The mini train is on wheels and it starts from the main Banielacic square. It runs only on weekends and it's free of charge. When visiting Zagreb sites, you will realize that most of them are free of charge. Even entrance to Zagreb Cathedral or St. Mark Church are free of charge. The only tickets you'll have to buy are for Lotroschak Tower, if you want to go to the top of the tower, ticket costs 20 kunas, or different museums. Ticket for this quirky and super interesting Museum of Broken Relationship was 40 kunas. If you want the best views over the entire city of Zagreb, you should go on top of this skyscraper. It offers 360 views over the entire city. It's a bar and observation deck on 16th floor of a skyscraper on the main square. The ticket costs 60 kunas or about 8 euros. The ticket is valid for an extended period, so you can return anytime you want during your visit in Zagreb. You can find most restaurants in Zagreb in its lower town. Restaurants offer food from the Balkans like Cevapcici, all sorts of seafood from Adriatic Sea, typical Croatian food from various parts of the country or international cuisine. You can have dinner in one of the high-end restaurants from 300 to 700 kunas for 4 to 7 courses menu. There is also plenty of regular places with great traditional local food, where a dinner will cost you around 200 kunas for a 3 course meal. If you prefer local street food dining, you can find excellent places where a meal will cost you from 40 to 80 kunas. If you want to see more about my Zagreb restaurant experience, check my video about the best and the worst restaurant in Zagreb. Coffee culture is an essential part of socializing in Zagreb. Some city squares and streets are considered to be open-air lounges. A cup of coffee, usually served with a glass of tap water in a popular place, will cost you between 12 to 16 kunas. On the worldwide cost of living chart, Zagreb is ranked 235th. On my How Expensive This Place Is scale, from 1 to 10, where 1 means crazy cheap and 10 means crazy expensive, I would give Zagreb a 5, indicating that Croatian capital is not expensive for visitors. One of the reasons for Zagreb to be right in the middle of my scale is the fact that for most of its main sites, you don't need to buy a ticket. And also, the city of Zagreb offers free Wi-Fi. I hope now you have some better understanding of how not expensive Zagreb is. If you like this video and you find it useful, give us thumbs up. And don't be shy to use that comment section below to share your experience, your thoughts and your ideas about Zagreb. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This way, you will help us create more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.